Hi folks, in this scenario we've got WAMP server installed, we've set up the NetBeans IDE and we've just been running some PHP scripts and you're at the point now where you want to start debugging your application and the reasons why you might want to do that is because you can track variable values throughout the execution of your application and obviously this makes it easier when it comes to finding bugs in your program especially as it gets bigger and also I like it when I'm using third party code libraries so obviously you can step through the code, follow the execution path and really get a better understanding of how that works. So at the moment we're able to run our PHP scripts and see the output in the browser OK. Although it's an empty page we can see that it's loading it up OK. So the next thing you'd want to do is to try and debug your project. So you click on debug at the top, debug project, you can see the browser pops open and if you look at the bottom right hand corner we've got waiting for connection and so this is what you'd get if you've just set up if you set up WAMP server and you haven't done any specific configurations for it just yet. So clearly it can't connect. So if I click on the cross to terminate that, yes to that, we'll get an error message. It tells us exactly what we need to do though. So if we open up Explorer and head on over to the C drive into WAMP bin apache apache 2.2 bin again and find php.ini file let's right click on that edit with notepad and yeah, it goes to the bottom of this file and first of all xdebug.remote underscore enable we want to change to on and then we want to add in three extra lines so I'm just going to copy the first part to make that easier and then we want handler equals dbgp and host equals localhost and then port equals 9000 right just save that file now Close out a notepad, have Explorer, OK. So we're going to need to restart Apache first of all though, so let's do that. Right. The debugger should work now. So I tell you what, if we put some variables in so we can see it in action, so it's going to be nothing complicated here, just a simple variable. We'll assign it a string value first of all, and then we'll convert it into an integer value, and then we will increment it once. So with that, we should be able to see in this bottom tab here the variables. We had to see the type change from a string to an integer and we should see the value change each time as well. So let's give that a go. Debug, debug project. There we are, it stopped on the first line. So I'm going to step over that by clicking on this button. And as we can see, dollar test, it's a string type the value of hello, step over it again, converted it to an integer, value of 5, and increases it by 1. So that's just a short introduction for the moment to show you how simple variable values change throughout the execution, how you can track that. Obviously once you start building up your project and applying object oriented principles you will find that this is an in invaluable tool and there's still lots of other features with the debugger that you can use which we haven't covered. Like for example you can set breakpoints in the program. So for example if I just left click on the number there, it's highlighted the line in red. So when you debug the program it'll skip all the other lines, go straight to this one and then you can decide what to do with it from there. Um, and also you've got, you can set up a watch as well. So you can keep track of a specific variable value or expression for the execution of the program. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.